In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. The atmospheric mana, right? Bro's gonna use like a spirit bomb on us, like Frieza, the evil Frieza. Ooh. No opening! Hey, what are those grippers doing on screen? No opening though, so that means that at some point during the fight today, the opening will fucking play. Lloyd's answer, here we go. Ah. What? What, 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 what? I thought that was the apex of magic. I, 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 I thought, I, bro's not even looking. Bro, bro's not even fucking looking right now. What happened? What did you just do? Huh? Went, A similar technique? We sent it into a different dimension and got obliterated. Okay, sure. <laughs> this is like fucking Negumin, bro. Just expl explosion times 10. I know! How do you counter a space quake in Data Live? Kotori told us, episode 10 or 11. You counter it with the same magnitude of force. Those two go boom, they get cancelled out. I don't fucking know. Oh, he's so tired. That's pretty fun. That goes poof. <laughs> Down bad. <laughs> I do love these fucking chibi faces. <laughs> Dude, shit, use it again. <laughs> you wanna steal his body? Wait, what's going on with Lloyd? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What is this shit, bro? Is this like fucking, you know, what's his name? Maito, like touching, you know, Yuji, and then suddenly it's like, <laughs> who said you could come in here? You know, it's like you touch Yuji and fucking skin us here, like, the fuck you doing, trash? <laughs> That's a lot of balls! Oh! Landed, that landed! Because we can like raid his teleport. Okay, back to the other side. It's looking like Lloyd versus Gizarme. It, it's a fucking wrap. The moment that we understood how he was like teleporting, where he's gonna port to, thanks to Jade, it was a fucking wrap, right? Oh boy. Okay, let's go, family! Yeah, the only one that compared, like, it's crazy because, like, I don't think even Silpha's ass is that big. Isn't that insane? Like, like, just think about that for a second. Like, I don't think Silpha's ass is as big as Lolly with BBL here. For some reason, only the Lolly in the show does a BBL on this show. Like, it, it's crazy. I didn't make up the rules. They fucking did. It's all right. You're doing good. True. <laughs> because of the mist. The steam, yeah. The water evaporated. What is this right now, actually? Oh, I thought we were getting the intermission scene because of the soundtrack that usually plays during that sign, but it's singing like, even though it's the morning right now, the sky is basically blighted by Lloyd's mana, I think, right? Rigor more. Uh, that's not Jade, because he's dead. Rigor Mortis is basically like your body tightening up when you're dead. Like, like I wanted to think that this was Jade, but like, okay. 
Overwhelming! Really? Oh, you've got to be like, okay. Hey! It's me, Jade! What's up? Hey, this is crazy. Can you save me, buddy? Come on, man. Come on, man. We don't care. Nope. Nope. No, no, this is fucked up. That is such a peaceful way of just like defeating someone, huh? Almost kind of looks like, you know, like fucking hollow purple, bro. Like red and blue combining and they're fucking doing this. But it's like, yoink, and you're gone. Into the cosmos, bro. This is the scariest thing about his fucking mana. This like, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It's pretty dark, pitch black. But there's this like blue eyes that's like formed with like skulls and we saw this in the earlier episodes too whenever Lloyd was popping off that's like supposed to represent this mana just like an abyss of skulls forming an eye <laughs> what are you saying ligma goodbye is there really no happy ending with Jade coming back? There's no shot. Nah. Happy tears are okay. Happy tears are okay. It's a... Oh, about how cracked he is? Rumor. Oh, the firebolt that he shot out at the maid, kind of. Yeah, I remember that. That TikTok got for like almost a million views. Thank you. This is true. This is true. This is actually true. No, no, no. It's true. It's random as fuck. The prophecy came true. If this were to become true, I'll serve the seventh prince kid for the rest of my life. Get it out. Welcome aboard. He's, yep, he's, he's servant number whatever it is now. That's a fucking promise. Yeah, let's work for him. The prophecy. It was true. The sunlight. Are you serious? There's no happy ending. It's, it's just... I know that it was pretty much impossible, but I was like, you know, we have magic, and maybe there's some bullshit magic we can do to bring Jade back, but it's looking like... GG. Is <laughs> どうせ死体はないからな。国はすべてをもうよく当てられましたね。国かなり低速の魔術なのに。カゲロウ。カゲロウの出始めを感知する術式を組んだんだ。Okay, that's how we read ahead. Basically explaining what happened last episode when Tei and like countering the teleport. He still did it. And bro wasn't even using barrier on himself. The barrier wasn't a clone since so mind games. I'm surprised we're not copying Shadow Wolf. Yeah, Jade. Jade's last sacrifice. Yep, that's what it was. We won the fight. We. Crying Ren again, please! So, uh, now what? We're just gonna have a party to end the season? <laughs> just looking at it. Oh, it is crooked. Yeah, yeah, let me just adjust it. I'd be disrespectful to just walk away after he died, yeah. Yeah, come on, let's fix that. You can uh, let us know through action by serving us for the rest of your life. Also, Aru never showed up. I just realized, remember? Two or three episodes ago, in the intermission and the post credit scene, Aru was supposed to, like, be on her way. She heard the shit going down. And it's like, oh, fuck, Aru's gonna show up for another arc? Maybe it's... Since she wasn't part of the arc, like, like an actual fight, I bet she'll show up near the end and she'll, like, just miss, you know, fucking Roberto or whoever she's fucking chasing, right? She's probably gonna show up. Nothing, just the burial, yeah. 
He did not jizz on my underwear. No, that was Garadeo. Yeah. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty demon was actually kind of fun. <laughs> but I think we can all live in peace together. We are cracked. What are you gonna do? Correct us? When she's found, they'll execute her? Nah, this is too cruel, bro. Come on. Surely they're not gonna get, you know, treated this bad. Nah, nah, nah. Something else will happen. No! Albert, come on, bro. Why the fuck is she smiling? Oh, they're all smiling, actually. Okay. What are, you, what are you implying? I think that he's just being a hard ass. The sword is fucking huge right now. He's just being a hard ass. And like, obviously, he's just doing this so that he'll... He, so that Lloyd will take this seriously, right? He's just putting on an act, trying to be a hard ass to make sure like, you understand what you're getting yourself into. Make sure to follow through. Who's gonna keep being accountable? Let's hear the resolve. Title drop. Lloyd's answer. That is the title of today's episode. What's your answer? Okay. Okay. I'll correct them. Alright. Where the fuck are these petals coming from? <laughs> Everyone's so shocked at the answer. Hi. Okay, it's just for you. You're just being a big bro, right? Does Lloyd care about that? Does he ever had a complex thinking like no one cares about me because I'm the seventh prince? Bro's been just too busy doing his own research and living his best life. He's never thought about that, but Albert's coming into this from a perspective of how does my little brother who's seventh in line think without, you know, getting that much attention, I guess. But it, I bet Lloyd's never even thought about that. He's a good bro. There's actually seven princes, apparently. Okay, okay. Oh, who's coming? Aru! 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 She's here! She fucking made it to the finale! Okay, let's see what you got to say, Aru. <laughs> yeah, we were in a pinch. Thank you. Yeah, it's over. I'm sorry. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's it? That's it. She just showed up and fucking left. I don't, I feel sad for her. She's just, I don't know. She gets the shit under the stick always. But her martial arts skill actually did help us fight too. So, you know what? It was fine. Oh, they found her. It's fine. They're going free. There's so many colorful petals everywhere. Wonder what's gonna happen with this castle now, huh? Cause like Lordost nobles, that's that's done, right? Like like the prince is done. Like this 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 castle is just empty, right? There's there's nobody now, unless we just make it into our little hideout. Oh, Aru, Aru, is she still here? Alright, she gets to enjoy the party with us. Second, fourth, sixth princess, that's right. We still don't know who the crown prince is. We don't know who three, four, five, six is. And this is only the sixth princess. Someone said that this isn't just like seven siblings. It's seven fucking princes. And who knows how many princes there are. I don't know how accurate this is, but not what someone said online. Surely people wouldn't lie online, right? <laughs> Maybe someone was just capping, but I'd like to believe that there's seven princes. That'd be cool.
おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお I can't believe a hottie died like that. I wish I could have met him. This gotta be so fucking disrespectful right now, too. Oh! She making a move? Be gone, thoughts. He might not like girls. He might like little boys like his brother. Okay. Seducing magic, but... Okay, okay. So basically, she was drunk, and then she can obviously inflict pain on herself, and then it goes the others. Anyway, right now, Albert's drunk right now. <laughs> Preemptive salute to Garidea for nutting on Lloyd's underwear. I don't know, man. It just happened. He can't control his powers. Look at that fucking cum bridge. Dude, dude, dude made a fucking bridge out of his fucking nut right there, dude. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> hey, I don't want to fucking get on that thing. What's the girls doing? Hot spring episode? What the? Okay. Suffering. No, oh, they're probably gonna join us. The assassin skills definitely come under us. She's too goddamn precious. He's here! He's allowed to be here, though, probably. Considering he was filthy, covered in dirt, sweat, and fluids. What kind of fluids? You know, I'm actually kind of impressed that, like, the lack of fan service that they're doing right now. And you're gonna say, what the fuck are you talking about? You can almost see Sofa's titties, but like... True, no, no, if you look at any other, like, um, anime where they're trying to, like, cover a girl's, like, nipples or, like, private areas with, like, foam, hair, mist and stuff like that, this is actually really censored, if you think about it. Maybe they're doing this for the DVD release. In the fucking DVD release, they'll remove the other fucking mist. <laughs> Come along, come on now. Yeah, they're cured now. Okay. Research. Pharmacist. A poison can cure people. Well, the research can. That is an aggressive fucking scene. This is so aggressive. You can't see much, but like, Lloyd is just. <laughs> sitting in between sofa. Alright. Is there a manga panel for this? HOLY! Alright, Ren's gonna start crying again in the fucking flashback. We have a group of friends! No slurs here. Gambare. <laughs> Why is Sofa like tearing up here? What? Am I? What? I. 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 Is Sofa actually getting emotional with Ren stuff? Or is Sofa just got too stimulated because the Shota was like in between? I don't know. I. I don't know. I don't think she's crying over Ren. I think it's completely different. <laughs> Is she gonna be like a maid also? Who know? Opening! One of the best opening of the season. Oh! She's living in with us! Ren's new drip! No more exhibition! Is Ren gonna dress up Lloyd too? Sofa would never let her do that. I think we're getting awarded here based on what happened at Lordos. The basement? This is where we met Grim, yeah. Uh, down in the basement with Grim. The end? Is there anything more? Is that end? And that is the end of 7th Prince, and I hear that Season 2 announcement has already been confirmed. If there's any English subtitled trailers, we'll definitely be reacting to it, but hey, 
that's the anime and let's get real this is uh an anime that's very controversial because the main character is a shota with the bbl the amount of fan service for this little boy is ungodly and there's an audience for everybody right but if you can look beyond that the overall action the storytelling, the pacing, animation, quality, soundtrack, everything has been fucking peak compared to some of the animes that's been airing this season. I would confidently put this in top three of all the animes this season, just weekly seasonal animes that we watch. Easily top three. I'd probably give this anime a minimum eight out of 10, which could be even higher, probably somewhere between eight and probably nine. Am I overrating this? I don't think I am. If you go back to each episode and truly just like, instead of gushing over the show to BBL, just look at the fucking pacing, voice acting, soundtrack, animation quality. It's just been such a fun anime to watch and I'm glad that we checked it out despite it being show to bait because let's get real they're trying to fucking pander to an audience that likes little boys feminine little boys but that's it from me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care